Today I'm talking about folding saws. Hi folks, I'm Andrew, welcome back, thanks for joining me. Today I'm talking about folding saws, and in this video I'd like to share with you these three folding saws. Two are very popular makes, and this third one, a cheap, inexpensive supermarket special. I want to investigate whether or not it's worth spending some money on a good quality item, or would a cheap, inexpensive tool such as this be just as good. More often than not, when I go bike packing, I'll take with me one of these collapsible wood burning stoves. They're very convenient. You don't have to carry your fuel with you. You just have to find some wood on site in order to burn. Therefore, if you don't want to be eating cold food on your wild camp, it's really important to have the ability to process your wood down into usable batons to fuel your stove. But the ability to cut branches down into manageable sizes beforehand is going to be really useful. Folding saw, therefore, is a really helpful tool to have where you're out bike packing. So let's briefly look at these three saws. First I have the more expensive Silky Pocket Boy. Silky is a Japanese manufacturer. The saw has a 170mm rust resistant stainless steel blade, a spring loaded metal release catch and two locking cut positions. It weighs around 285 grams and measures 205 by 55 by 25 millimeters when folded up. These retail from anything between 30 and 45 pounds. Next is the Barco Laplander, a very popular bushcraft folding saw. A high quality Scanvic steel blade measuring 190 millimeters, a one sided release button and a single locked cutting position. The saw weighs 200 grams and measures 230 by 50 by 30 millimeters when folded. These retail from anything around 18 to 20 pounds. Finally, the Parkside, purchased from Lidl supermarket. A German manufactured carbon steel blade measuring 180 millimeters long with two cutting angles, a spring loaded press down release button and it weighs 215 grams. Folded, it measures 230 by 60 by 30 millimeters and it costs just two pounds 99. Okay, so let's put these three saws to the test. This is a non-scientific test. It's just gonna be a straightforward speed test against the clock. One blade against the other. Okay, so the three saws completed that task in pretty much the same time, really. That task is complete. Now what about trying a real world scenario? Let's have them cut a piece of unseasoned green oak, very fibrous wood, and let's see how they get on. Definitely struggling. Two hands on the Okay, so we have a clear winner in the speed cutting, and that was the Silky Pocket Boy. A clear individual winner. Have a look at this slow motion footage of the Pocket Boy. Just look at its ability to clear away the wood pulp and sawdust. It's like a chainsaw. I find that pretty impressive. So which saw should you choose? Well, if it's economy, then you really probably can't beat this Parkside at £2.99. It cut the prepared pine in just a little bit slower than the other two saws but it really did struggle when it came to that oak. In fact, it took seven times as long to cut that as the Silky Pocket Boy. Mm. If it's efficiency you want, then you're probably gonna pick one of these two saws, the Silky Pocket Boy or the Barco Laplander. But outright speed is gonna be the Pocket Boy. But if you want 
compromise between economy and really good speed at cutting, then maybe it's the Barco Lab Lander. I'll leave it down to you to decide whether or not you think efficiency or economy are the most important factors in choosing your folding saw. So there you have it folks, three very different folding saws for you to consider. I hope you found this video informative. Please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to find out a little bit more about these folding saws, you can click on the links in the description. So thanks very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, share and like, and until the next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.